Hey, this is Coach Joe Hafner. In this next video, you're gonna see one of the best coaches in the world teaching within a three-on-three -three basketball drill. It's a great video for coaching skill development, offense, and defense. He not only teaches and corrects within the drill, he also stops to explain why he's stopping and why he's teaching certain actions. If you didn't know already, the coach in the video is Chris Oliver. Chris Oliver is a top consultant to many of the top coaches internationally and in the NBA. However, to save you time, you can just look below in the description to learn more about Chris Oliver. Also, you can gain access to a free PDF that includes coaching tips and drills from Coach Chris Oliver. Just click on the link below or in the description. Now let's check out the video with Coach Chris Oliver. Earlier, we introduced three pass one-on-one. -on -one. Now we're gonna take that same concept and show you how we incorporate it in three-on-three. -three. These two players are gonna play three pass one-on-one. -on -one. While they do that, the players on the weak side are going to get involved in a three-on-three -three situation. Again, we set this up to make it more game-like so that we can work on a specific situation and try and develop the same skills that we've been working on in terms of our zero seconds basketball decision training and apply them in not just a one-on-one -on -one situation, but now in a situation where when you attack a defender, you've got to worry about what are the help side defenders doing as well. While these players play three pass one on one, the two players on the weak side of the floor on offense will be spaced in the corner and on the 45. This is our setup to show you how it's done. You can put players in any positions on the floor to be able to start your three pass one on one into three on three. The two defensive players each have a responsibility to start with. One is baseline help and the top player is middle help. We want to create some variability so they don't just cheat the drill and stand there and help and be set for the offensive player to attack. So prior to the start of the action, they're going to exchange back and forth continuously until the initial drive happens. Once the drive happens, one of them will be the low help and one of them will be the high help and then we'll be working on a live three on three situation. Because we have nine players here, we're gonna rotate on and off the floor to start with by going defense to offense, offense off. Normally in our practices, I don't talk about rotation at all. It's for our players to show some leadership and to be able to communicate and figure things out themselves. In this situation as well, we'll emphasize on any penetration, the next player must follow penetration with a shot or a pass. We do not want to follow penetration with another penetration. We emphasize that within our team because we want players to apply our zero second concepts where on the catch, they catch it ready to shoot. And if they're open, we want them to shoot it. And if not, then we want them to move it to the next teammate who is open. The other reason that we emphasize this concept of not following penetration with another penetration is that we feel very often it creates bad spacing and we'd rather have us get back to good spacing so that we can create another good opportunity to be able to score at the rim or to be able to kick out and have an open shot. Rebound, rebound. Play it, play it, play it. Good call score, Ellet, Ellet, Ellet. Let's go, Ellet. Ellet, Ellet. Good communication, Damien. Foul, hold. Let's make sure, let's make sure that before we start it, make sure that they're moving in terms of defensive stance. Okay, let's also get our defensive communication cues. Rotate, sight, right? We know how we're covering. If you're gonna force base, you're gonna force middle on the closeout. Let's make that as game-like as possible so we apply the situations we want. Another thing that you can emphasize as a coach is what constraints you wanna to give to the offensive players. The main one right now is that the same rules we applied in three pass one-on-one -on -one apply to the offensive player here in three pass one on one into three on three. The offensive player who catches the ball must catch it with a hop. They cannot pause on the catch. 
They're not allowed to take two dribbles in a direction, not towards the rim, and they're not allowed to spin. Any violation of those four things results in a turnover and a loss of possession for their team. So we're getting them to focus on the things that we've emphasized in our individual workouts and in our one-on-one. -on -one. Look, you can play anything out of bounds, but not if it goes into the bleachers or into the wall, okay? Otherwise, let's compete through that. Okay, foul, hold. Let's recreate that situation. Where did Lucas take his dribble? How many dribbles did he take? One. Should he have drawn help off of one dribble? Should we have been giving up a three off of one dribble? Because I should be stopping it and teaching him that one dribble is not going to draw help. But instead, he was able to kick to the weak side to get a wide open shot, right? Like, we only need to help on, hopefully, the second bounce. The goal of you as a defensive player is to make sure that you can cover for two dribbles. So if he can cover for two dribbles, you don't have to help as much. If you have to help on the first dribble, we're in a pile of trouble. Okay, so make sure that we do that. And then offensively, again, don't take a dribble to pass. Why are you going to dribble? To score. Like, this is one-on-one. -on -one. This isn't three-on-three -three for you. For you, the mentality is you're trying to score. So counter if he cuts you off. Try and get to his chest. Score at the rim. Okay, we don't want to pass unless they make us pass. Good talk, Pim. Good talk, Pim. Talk down. Foul, hold. What did Anthony do on the catch? Took away his opportunity to do what? Or what should he do? Shoot. He should have shot. He had space. He had more than arm length distance. He should have shot. Okay? So again, let's get that mentality. Zero seconds. If you're open, let's let it go. Okay, let's shoot it. Another thing we try to emphasize when we compete is that we want to keep score. Our players should be calling the score. Right now, it's very simple. If you score, you get a point. But we can add different emphasis as well, or different constraints to the drill to be able to shape our learning. For example, if we add two points for an offensive rebound, then clearly we're emphasizing that the weak side players or whoever does not shoot the ball should be offensive rebounding because there's great benefit to be able to get an offensive rebound for your team because you get a better opportunity to be able to win. Whatever point system you come up with, points can help you emphasize certain things within your team. For example, another one that we would use is there's three points for a defender who takes a charge. So if they take a charge, their team on defense can score points. Another part of this three on three that we want to emphasize is that a player can cut from the perimeter if the dribbler is dead. They cannot cut otherwise. We want them to space on the perimeter and be ready to be able to shoot the ball or make an extra pass. If a player at any point dribbles and goes dead though, we want to send a cutter to the basket and have the other player move into space. Foul, foul hold, recreate, stop, foul. Why is that an offensive foul? Like what's his mistake? Well, what's his constraint? Two dribbles, not towards the rim. two dribbles not towards the rim. So if he's taking two dribbles not towards the rim, do we need to help? No, we don't need to help. The ball's coming towards you, we recover. So again, that's McQuell's mistake. If you take your first dribble and you're not going towards the basket, what should you do with your second dribble? Counter, counter. And we need to get that mentality. Right now, you're taking this out of context of what we're trying to do, which is this is one-on-one. -on -one. Score, this is one-on-one. -on -one. Your, only your, only, your only decision to pass is if you get help, okay? Otherwise, this is one-on-one. -on -one. Don't worry about the three-on-three. -on -three. The three-on-three -three happens after the one-on-one. -on -one. We go, outlet, 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 let's go. Rotate every time, rotate every time. 
Good communication. Let's go. Call your score. Good straight line drive. An important part about keeping score is that we empower our players to be able to lead themselves and communicate as they are responsible for keeping the score. Good board, outlet, 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 let's go quick. Switch it, we're in it, keep moving, let's go, moving. It's dead, dead, dead. Movement, movement, quote, movement. Hold. We got a post entry. What are two things that we can do after we post entry? Cut or space, stand. What should we do once we get the ball in the post? Should we speed up the game or slow it down? Slow it down, take your time. Okay, you got great position, take your time. Make sure you use your half a pivot to be able to probe the defense and look for an opportunity to be able to score. Okay, a good situation that evolved, let's take advantage of it. Foul, hold. Why would Lucas lose possession? Paused, yeah, he ripped, paused, okay? I'll be Mr. Nice Guy, we'll let you go again, but come on, catch it with a hop, catch it with a hop, stab. Good, board, board, good, outlet, let's go, let's go. We wanna make sure that when we play any three on three, four on four, five on five competitive drill, that we make sure that our players constantly change positions. A big emphasis of our Zero Seconds BDT skill development is that we all want all of our players to be able to develop their skills, to be able to play in multiple positions. If one player is always in the same spot, they only learn that spot. That's very similar to block practice. We want to make sure that there's randomness in terms of their positioning on the court so that they develop different feels for the different position. Would you draw? Out, out, out. Let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Outlet. Yes, there go. Hold. Just make sure when we post entry, we don't quarry cut. We don't cut away, right? You can cut to the basket. You can hold the spot. You can initiate a screen if you go away, not just a movement away. Good counter. Make it a post up. That's it. Way to turn it into a post up, Anthony. Excellent counter, excellent post up. You can move now, you can move now. Good. Box, outlet, outlet, outlet. You can do this with any one on one drill that you use. You can turn it into a three on three situation so it becomes even more game like. One of the main reasons we do that again is to emphasize the fact that the one-on-one -on -one situation's goal is that that player tries to score. The reason they can't score is because they draw help. So it develops an attack mentality. So our one-on-one -on -one becomes a game-like drill that transfers to performance. The other part of this that we really like and the reason that we teach with a game's approach to coaching basketball is because I get to coach not just one situation, I get to coach all situations at once. So things evolve naturally from this three on three. We saw that there are a few things that I could coach defensively. There are many rebounding situations where I could coach at the same time that we're emphasizing some of the offensive skills that we're trying to get our players to do. So it allows me to be able to coach not just one thing, but be able to coach the game of basketball the way it's played. Hey, we hope you enjoyed the new video. Also, please click the like button and the subscribe button below, and also click on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you get notifications of our upcoming videos. And just a reminder, if you want instant access to the free PDF with bonus coaching drills and coaching tips from Coach Chris Oliver, just click on the link below or in the description.